about 10.30 a.m. Bright and sunny, which back where I'm from on Cape Cod, bright and sunny is usually not the best time to go fishing. But down here I've caught plenty of nice fish even at noontime when it was flat calm and hot and sunny. They don't seem to mind the sun down here. Right now I'm casting a pink epoxy jig. This is from themightyfish.com. I'm not sure how much it weighs, maybe, maybe a half of an ounce. I can really fire it way out there. Cast very well using 30 pound braid. Lauren! It's a good fish! Yes! Nice. I don't know what this is, mackerel maybe? First fish of the trip. Oh, that was a great hit. This guy feels solid. Real solid. Oh, it feels great to be catching fish again. What a beautiful day. This guy is seriously strong. I have absolutely no idea what we got on the line here. I'm hoping it's like a big Sierra mackerel. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, fish. Please stay on the line. I don't know what it is. It's big though. You want to feel him? Look at that. It's a big fish. He's right here. Is it a big jack? We got one. Oh, it's a big mackerel. I think it's a big mackerel. And I might have hooked him funny. Come on, Rocky, we got a fish. We got a good one. I think it's a big mackerel. Yeah, that's a big mackerel, I think. I think it's a big mackerel. Grab him, yeah, grab his tail. Nice job. Yeah, wow. What a nice mackerel. Good job, Arthur. Awesome, look at that. That is, a, that's exactly what I was hoping to catch. Hold him. Well, he's pretty strong. He's pretty. Very pretty. Wow, he's really strong and slippery. Oh yeah, this will this will kill them and it will help bleed get a lot of the blood out so the the meat is really really good.
Ready to fillet a fish, Rocky? Boy, he's a happy dog. You think Rocky's a happy dog? That's well, probably the easiest place to do it. It's nice flat, and we don't have to worry about making a mess. Oh, look at that nice white meat. This knife is actually nice and sharp. So I just made a cut here, and now I'm just got to cut down along the backbone of the mackerel. Go nice and careful. Try to do a good job. It does have a lot of meat. That would be good for a cat. I saw a cat right up in your house. Oh, really? Yeah, this is a nice fillet. Just running the knife along that? basically is like rib cage. See those bones right there? What is that, stuff? that is probably mackerel poop. <laughs> Look at that. What a nice piece of fish. Great piece of meat. Hi, Rocky. Look at that, huh? That's nice. That is really nice. What do you think, Rocky? <laughs> All right, now let's do the other side. What a treat. That is so nice. Alright, they're looking pretty clean now. What? Look how clean they are now. Yeah, looking are. good, huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's what you can eat. Adam boy, thank you. Thank you very much. Woo, sand is hot.
this very carefully. I want to get all the meat. That's looking pretty good. Alright, now we're just going to pull with my left hand. Move the knife back and forth like that. Keep it nice and parallel to the board. Oh, there's the skin. You want to save that for breakfast? You don't want it? All right, now it's time to cook the mackerel. In our plush little cabina kitchen. Now, is the rum punch necessary in order to cook yes. in Costa Rica? Okay. In Costa Rica, it is. You have to. And here's the uh, luxurious oven, stove top rather. Never, never thought I would see the day that I'd be cooking on this. So All you right, chopped so up some garlic and some butter? Tons of butter, good amount of garlic, because who doesn't love that, right? And I guess when I say tons of butter, I mean tons of butter for us. It's really not that much. <laughs> Half an inch of butter and no, I wouldn't say. Let's say let's say one tablespoon of butter and four cloves of garlic. But I'm not making that much. All right. So the only challenge of this thing. Is, oh, see, yep. You can't really change. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We're good. It's really hard to adjust the heat on this thing. So we just have to hope that nothing burns. <laughs> All right, are these clean, ready to go in? Oh yeah, those are very clean. Uh, I'm gonna cut this in half. We probably don't have to cook the second filet right now. Nope. Well, oh, you, you mean these or those? We still have another. Smells good already. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to do a little bit of salt. Salt, butter, and garlic never hurt a soul. So what I'm going to serve with this is a mix of uh, beans that I made. Actually, you can see I'm making another pot of beans right now. So these are just soaking. And you so let them soak for how long? A day. A pot of beans takes about two days to make. And then they have to sit overnight to get their flavors. So I'm going to do a little bit of beans that I've already made, some sauteed veggies, and some rice. And I mixed it all together and made like a gallo pinto basically. So I used a little salsa lozano and some cilantro. So this stuff, salsa lozano, that's what the traditional gallo pinto is made with. That's what gives it some really nice flavor. And you can see this is the, this is the gallo pinto. We had some for breakfast this morning. You have to be really resourceful around here. You don't waste food. <laughs> And you end up eating a lot of the same thing over and over again. Um, and then we'll do probably some tortillas, you know, put these in some tor tortillas and have them like a little taco. Um, and I've got some more beans in here too, so. So you don't get the garlic to burn, you can kind of put some of the garlic on the top. And then we'll cover it and let it finish cooking.
done. Got a little bit of the extra juices here. Nope. It's gonna, okay. Wonderful. I'll wait for you. All right. Very easy. nice. Smells great. And it's e super easy. It's awfully nice. It's good. That's more of like a a chicken texture. It's not like a, a white soft. Oh yeah. You know. It is more like a a chicken. A chicken type texture, but it's so fresh and so delicious with the butter and the garlic. Mm -hmm. So this fish was swimming about an hour and a half ago and now we have it on the plate <laughs> pretty awesome thank you very much for watching please subscribe and comment below tight lines and take care